Overview In minimally invasive heart surgery, heart cardiac surgeons perform heart surgery through small incisions in the right side of your chest, as an alternative to open heart surgery. Surgeons don't cut through the breastbone, sternotomy. Rather, they operate between the ribs, which may result in less pain and a quicker recovery for many people. In minimally invasive surgery, your heart surgeon may have a better view of some parts of your heart than in open heart surgery. Similar to open surgery, some minimally invasive heart surgery procedures may require stopping your heart temporarily and diverting blood flow from your heart using a heart-lung bypass machine. Minimally invasive heart surgery may be performed to treat a variety of heart conditions. Why it's done many types of heart procedures may be conducted with minimally invasive heart surgery. Minimally invasive heart procedures may include Mitral valve repair and replacement Tricuspid valve repair and replacement Aortic valve replacement Atrial septal defect and patent foramen oval closure Atrioventricular septal defect surgery Maze procedure for atrial fibrillation Coronary artery bypass surgery Saphenous vein harvest for coronary artery bypass surgery Potential benefits Minimally invasive heart surgery isn't an option for everyone, but it can offer potential benefits in those for whom it's appropriate. Potential benefits of minimally invasive heart surgery compared with open heart surgery may include Less blood loss lower risk of infection reduced trauma and pain shorter time in the hospital, faster recovery and quicker return to normal activities smaller, less noticeable scars who benefits from minimally invasive heart surgery not everyone is a candidate for minimally invasive heart surgery. Your doctor and treatment team will work with you to determine whether minimally invasive heart surgery is an option to treat your condition. Your doctor and treatment team may evaluate you to determine whether you're a candidate for minimally invasive heart surgery. In an evaluation, your doctor may conduct a physical examination, review your medical history and perform tests. Minimally invasive heart surgery can be a complex surgical procedure. Doctors may recommend you have the surgery at a medical center with surgeons and a surgical team experienced and trained in conducting minimally invasive procedures. Risks Minimally invasive surgery can involve risks similar to open heart surgery, such as Bleeding stroke wound infection Irregular heart rhythms Arrhythmias death How you prepare before minimally invasive heart surgery Your doctor and treatment team will explain to you what to expect before, during and after the surgery and potential risks of the surgery. Your doctor and team will discuss concerns you may have about your minimally invasive heart surgery. Your doctor or another member of your treatment team may discuss with you advanced directives or other information to consider prior to your surgery. You may need to have your hair shaved off at the locations of your body where the procedure will take place. Before being admitted to the hospital for your surgery, talk to your family about your hospital stay and discuss help you may need when you return home. Your doctor and treatment team may give you specific instructions to follow during your recovery when you return home. Food and medications talk to your doctor about When you can take your regular medications and whether you can take them before your surgery When you should stop eating or drinking the night before the surgery Clothing and personal items Your treatment team may recommend that you bring several items to the hospital, including A list of your medications Eyeglasses, hearing aids or dentures Personal care items, such as a brush, comb, shaving equipment and toothbrush loose fitting, Comfortable clothing A copy of your advanced directive items that may help you relax, such as a portable music player or books during surgery, avoid wearing Jewelry Eyeglasses Contact lenses Dentures Nail polish Precautions regarding medications and allergies Talk to your doctor about any medications you have brought to the hospital and when you should take medications on the day of the procedure allergies or reactions you have had to medications.